Hi everyone, uh, today I want to find out some really cool items that probably worth a lot and w will be worth trading. Uh, by the way, villagers are very very expensive, you don't need to give you any uh, you know, uh, tips for this, just check out the villagers and uh, see if you have one that you want to trade and uh, you're probably going to get a high price for it. All right. Uh, what I want to see is items, DIY recipes by the way are it very good items, uh, it's worth keeping them, just, just selling them for nothing because it can worth a lot. So let's first take a look at some DIY recipes. Uh, now the thing is when you look here you can see there's no way to uh, sort them. So if I want to sell them by, you know, by ever at selling price I can do that and hopefully they'll add something like this in the near future. As you see, those that you get from Celeste uh, are quite expensive. So if you have some from Celeste, if you have, uh, usually you don't have duplicate, I think. You won't get duplicate, but if you want to sell them, you don't want to use them. Uh, you can sell them for a very high price. Also seasonal ones and theme related ones also have a high demand. Uh, this is from the bamboo. Let's take a look more. This, by the way, I have plenty of those. Uh, and can sell itself for an average of 200,000, uh, which is a good price. Uh, I think you can even sell it for more. Uh, this is a seasonal one because to the sherry blossom, you can see blossom here in lantern. Even ones which are relatively cheap to make by the way, if people just want to mess with things, just buy stuff, they can pay you even for the bonfire, like 100k, crazy. Bunny day art, I think it should be cost more, uh, because these are related to events, specific events, this is for the bunny day. Uh, and uh, just getting many of those, especially one related to Earth, uh, it'll be harder to get, uh, or stone ones. So if you have those, you can actually sell them for a high price, even individual eggs. Um, so I think those ones can actually even increase in price and you can sell it for the above the average price. The bunny day basket is an item that you get, the last item that you get, some people actually miss this one. So uh, if you get it, uh, if you get it so you can actually sell it for a high price for those who actually want it and weren't able to get it bunny day lamp 100 i have like i think maybe close to like 50 60 just spread on my island just think about how money i can get just by just selling those easily like six seven million bells if i want to sell it for bells so definitely DIY, make sure that you check which one you have and try to just put them here and see the price. Oh, right, let's continue on. I want to see the fossils and the reason the fossils is because uh, the thing is you can get a high price for a specific one because uh, it's random and you know some people will probably need uh, this one to finish it and probably will, will, uh, need this one. Uh, the thing is that you can sell it for a higher price because people actually need one specific to finish or a few of them to finish the part of the museum will be uh, willing to pay more. Problem is that many people are probably listing those and this is of course will uh, lower the price, make the price more competitive and uh, you probably won't get good money for this one. Uh, the average you can see is 100k. Uh, yeah, probably that's what, that's what you're going to get but you can really jump the price for 300 or something like that because there are many, many of those listings. So I have plenty of those. I'm not going to focus on selling those. Uh, you know, I just prefer uh, making millions of other items more easily than comparing just uh, listing all these, all those ones which also take time. All right, clothing. Now again, I wish there was kind of a filter options, uh, ordering options here, but there isn't. Uh, but again, uh, if you see items that sells for a lot of money in Able Sister Store, uh, these are probably the uh, more rare items and you can sell them for a much higher price here. And I'm talking about items that usually sell for like maybe five, four, five, six 
thousand bells, you can easily sell them uh, even, you know, 100 and even more. Depends on the item, of course. If it's something, for example, an outfit, a specific outfit, and even more, a specific color, uh, many people will be, uh, will be willing to pay much more for this uh, because it can just uh, you know, finish the outfit. And if it's specific color, you probably won't see many of those listed because uh, you know there are different colors. So maybe people will be able to pay more for this. So let's take a look at the baby romper. No, actually, this one. This one actually I got only once. I bought a few of those. You see the average price is 100k. Let's check out just one color. And let's see how many of those you have here. Uh, too much. Yeah, it's around 100. You can see. You see that not many of those. And you know maybe at some point, uh, you know, uh, because this is not a lot, so you can maybe sell it even for a bit more. But there are plenty of those listing. I wouldn't bother actually, you know, spending time on this one. All right. Oh, art. So art are really, really good. Why? Well, because uh, they only sold, uh, you know, uh, in the boat. I forgot the name of the one who sells them. Uh, uh, forgive me. Anyway, so if you are not time traveling, of course, it's going to take you a lot of time to obtain those uh and uh the thing is some people actually like the fake ones because you know because they look fake they look they are different uh and of course uh, uh it takes time to collect all of those and the other thing is that you're going to give some of those to the museums because you want to finish the uh, art part of the museum and then you're gonna if you have uh, extra you're gonna probably sell it but people uh, people are probably selling uh uh the fake ones as well and the non-fake ones also and of course those we are which are not fake are probably worth much more as you can see the prices here are you know can be quite high oh, the, oh this one is actually very expensive this is a very high demand for this one the gallon statue let's take a look oh there's a notice here art piece can be real or fake we provided both pictures so that you can compare before buying only buy from trusted seller, check the rating before making. Yeah, what I told you in the previous video, by the way, regarding the rating when you buy expensive items. There are people who obviously will try to sell you fake ones. Oh, genuine and fake. Well, people are writing this. But just keep this in mind that people can just fool you if it's very hard to spot which one is fake and which one is, isn't, isn't fake. Oh, uh, there's uh, the variance. You can see fake, genuine. Oh, you can clearly see the difference here in this case. But it's somewhere. Uh, uh, plus it might be harder to see so art is a good choice uh, if you have a fake art people you know people who are just decorating the island don't care you know it's a fake not you just want a statue maybe several statues on their islands so you know they wouldn't mind so they would be willing to pay a high price for it and as you can see the price is really high people are willing to uh, uh, sell for 16 uh, nook miles let's see more 100 trade for other arts anyway it's very very expensive and it's a good if you have this one even fake you know or if you see just one in the boat and it's fake and you need the money or you need to trade it for something just buy the fake now when it comes to furniture um, when it comes to furniture uh, this is probably a thing that many people uh, will pay attention to because they want to decorate not all their house or the outdoor area so uh, these uh, items are very, very popular and can reach very high prices. Of course, it depends on the price. Uh, this is, by the way, the Agrias butterfly model. I already talked about it. I'm selling my, mine for a million. Maybe you can see my listing. Let's see. People of five, five. Actually, a low price. Some people lower the price. But as you can see, there are not many of those, you see? Not many. So, uh, of course, there were more, but people were just buying it like crazy. Price, fire. Where is my offering actually? It's supposed to be here somewhere. Anyway, I think I can easily get one million for this one. So I'm just waiting. As you can see, it was a million and just dropped. Probably uh, people seeing, uh, you know, it's worth and making this one. It's actually either more offering, so it dropped the price a bit. But anyway, uh, it's worth more. So I'm saying this for one million. I think I'm going to get this one. Uh, let's go back again to furniture.
Now, when it comes to furniture, you need to keep in mind that people, when they're designing, for example, a room in the house, they probably, or maybe a diner or you know, a restaurant, they will want something with certain colors. And if they have different options for colors, some colors can be more expensive than others. Uh, and as I told you, if there's some like different coloring, you can ask for a higher price for it. For example, I uh, I sold a dinner uh, table, a pink one, for a few hundred bells, and it was like took me like a few seconds to sell it. People just love the you know people who just making a pink thing one uh, want the you know something with pink color. But even then, if there are items not related directly to a diner. And they are pink many people might want them to decorate the, uh, the place and we'd use something you know with a pink color so you might see uh, different colors kind of trading this one is crazily expensive the birthday candles and the birthday sign the birthday cake birthday table all very expensive People are also making some uh, cute little uh, sculptures. This is from the CJ, of course. Uh, but the little ones don't worth a lot. But when you have a uh, search for sculptures of rare bu uh, bugs and uh, fish, and you can sell them for a very high price. Easily, you can pass the 1 million mark easily. Blowfish model, almost, you know, 2.5 million. So when it comes to sculpture, I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Let's take a look. So these are so these are models for example all right let's take check the one this is the mai mai by the way i want to make a, a sculpture out of it you can see it sells the average price 2.5 million because it's harder to get you get it from the pier and you know it's a rare fish and you are lucky and you fall on a rare big fish island probably find it very hard to get and it's a beautiful one also definitely worth it this one, I don't know if it's worth uh, three. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Huh, the frog is so cute, by the way. Look at this. Oh, wow, so cute. Goop is more expensive because it's hard to get, relatively hard to get. Squid. Let's see. Others. Uh, this one is very cheap. Cricket. Arena, 4.5 million crazy again you can see the sculptures uh, those models are really worth investing atlas model only 400 this is one of the most beautiful ones the price is not that high i was actually thinking of selling mine so as you can see those models are really good uh, you can sell them for a really good price oh this barrel eye mold is very hard to get by the way that's why the price i try to get i only have one of those maybe two and he sold one, I think. As you can see, look at the prices, 2.6. I'm not talking about the cheap ones, the cheap, even the cheap ones, are, you know, you can get good money for them. 1.8 million. So overall, the sculpture is really worth it, as you can see. So if you find CJ, oh, that, by the way, you don't craft this one. Uh, you get it. I have this one, by the way. Uh, today, I sold this one. I sold this one for, listen carefully, for... Uh, I sold it for 750k, 750,000. More than three times, three times more, uh, around three times more than the price that you see the average price. Easily, like I tell you, like in a few minutes. So anyway, you get the point. Uh, sculptures, really good price. Again, try to focus on rare ones, uh, rare butterflies or bugs and rare fish, and and you can sell them for a very high price, even above, way above the average price. We want to just let's take a look for example this one sunset moth what people ask him 50 the not allowed you see and people actually ask for look my it's not uh not bells if you're going to sell it for bells people will easily give you lots of bells uh, and the reason is that i think that the average price here the median price is converted even based on the price of the average price of the uh miles the nook my ticket that are sold or any item there so although you don't see any offering here in terms of bells, it's kind of converted and reflected here in the chart. Uh, so it's kind of misleading in a way, but 
the thing that you should know that for people it's much easier to pay with uh, with bells because you can earn tens of millions very very easy but if you ask for something else uh, you can see it's harder to get and that's why uh, commodities like a look my tickets are so uh, uh, expensive uh, right now and they're worth even you know for one you can even sell for 50k or 100k people are going to pay a lot for look my tickets and this is why it acts kind of like a um, like a currency look my tickets are like a very very high price kind of a bitcoin you know yeah if you like all right let's take a look at other things photos uh, photos are also expensive the reason for this is that you need to get a good relationship with one of your villagers in order to obtain one i mean i'm planning playing since um animal crossing was released and i got only one <laughs> believe it or not and of course some of the more popular ones will be more expensive this is anka one million you can see two million two million three million oh this one looks actually cool i like this one what bam's photo wow <laughs> of course not many oh, actually i actually bam left my island by the way uh bro's photo you know some of the uh villagers the people even want like to host they won't wouldn't mind just getting a photo of them you know because it's gonna be rare why because many people are gonna use for example a certain character which is popular and so many people will have a certain uh, uh certain photo uh, and of course some of them will be sold but if there there's a character who is not popular imagine that only a few will have this actual photo so this photo will be for example this one which is not a popular character uh, will be expensive more expensive over time because people just want wouldn't want to host this one on the island and of course less people use this uh, villager on their island and uh, let alone getting friendly with the, with him so the price will be higher over time so just keep this in mind so although this one sold for two million i think you can get it for even more uh, over time but maybe two million is uh, you know considering the price of a single villager i think two million is a very good price for this one but it might get even more expensive over time All right, so photos was very interesting. Uh, and of course you can continue just visiting yourself from your zone and just check out. And you can see the prices are high, very high. You can get, oh, this one is really cool. Some of the actually photos look just really cool. So even if the villager itself is not popular, the photos look cool. So maybe it fits some kind of a design on your house so people might want them. I mean, this one looks really nice. I like this one. All right, so let's move on. Materials, very interesting to see what's going on there. Of course, uh, the fragment is going to be expensive. Why? Because you need to wait, of course, to get them. And they will just happen random and a clear sky day. Uh, so expect them to be uh, very high. Aquarius fragment, 260. You, you can even get a higher price for this one. The bamboo shoot. I think, man, this one is actually, I don't know, kind of cheap. I thought it would be more expensive. Boot. You know, remember the boot? I had like... 50 of those but they didn't have space or so just sold them so if nuka zone was actually there by the time i had 50 just imagine how much i could earn by just selling boots and i have so much of those and why is there people like them because you can actually use them as crafting materials and you know, craft some stuff with this and probably some people are focusing on different things uh, for example the the boot or the I forgot the wheel for example this one I don't understand why people will buy this uh, because you can just go and you know look square and buy it for 600 so this is really crazy stuff uh, yeah all these uh, items you find on the, um, uh, on the beach uh, you're gonna be expensive because you go and find many of those uh, sometimes you know uh, those in the evening can be even more expensive because oh, sorry those in the morning can be even more expensive than those in the evening because people are available in the evening so you might find that uh, people don't have time to play in the morning so they maybe play in the evening find those and in the morning they're going to buy in nuka zone those that are actually missed so again it depends on the on the hour i'm just guessing that some depends on when people are actually playing the game uh, most of the time uh the i the items that's actually spawn in the hours that are less popular uh in terms of uh people playing those hours uh, will be more expensive
but I need to check it out. Earth egg five. Fish bait. So fish bait, of course, is going to be expensive because you need to uh, find those, uh, you know, the beach and craft them. And pe why people want many of those? Of course, we're going to get uh, some of those of the rare fish. And, you know, if you just go and fish, you might won't find them. So we need lots of baits. So let's check out the, a bit deeper. Uh, so 10,000 is a uh, it's relatively high price considering you're going to sell them in batches. And you can see that people are selling them in batches. So 40, 200, you know, you see, Miles, people want the, the mile tickets. Ah, by the way, I have 170,000 look miles. It's crazy. If I converted them to uh, to look mile tickets, just imagine how much money I, I can just make like billions. I'm just kidding, but hundreds of millions easily. But of course, you need to, to just be in the machine and print them all out. It takes a lot of time. So you can get a point. Uh, very expensive, 100 fish bait, but you know, some people will easily play this price, you know. For example, if I just want to get a rare fish and uh, the more you get to the end of the season, by the way, the higher the price of this item will be. Because people will get more anxious and you want to get, for, especially in a month where you have more fish or bugs, uh, so more fish because it's a fish bait, sorry, uh, which is going to leave uh, the island in the same month people will just this price will just go crazy up it will be much more expensive so if you want to save those for example to the last five days uh, of the month where there's like fish that uh, is going to leave one or two maybe three fish going to leave at the end of the month you can easily sell those for a much higher price keep this in mind now the other thing to note about materials is we collect them we just put them in the storage we usually don't do a lot with them uh, so you might find when you look at the storage that you have plenty of items which you don't need. <laughs> Empty can look the price. I have plenty of those, by the way. Um, fossils, if you have fossils, usually I think when you find them in your own island, the chances to get a rare one that you rare one. The one that you are actually missing, maybe I lo are relatively low. I'm not sure, uh, but I never sold these ones, never. All right, let's move on. Gold nugget, I have like, 26 of those, something like that. Hardwood. I haven't came across this one yet. Iron nuggets. If you ever thought about just selling iron nuggets because you know you just don't have space, you just you know just want to make space in the inventory, just don't. Just keep them, sell them on Nuka Zone, you can get good money for those. Especially if you come up for Mystery Islands, you're gonna come with plenty of those. Last Star Fragment, uh, good price for it, of course. Manila Clam, this is the one you're going to make the fish bait. Actually sold at the same price as the fish bait itself. So maybe you shouldn't just make a fish bait, just sell those Manila Clams. Let's check out a deeper bait. Yeah, the problem with this one, i tell you what the problem is. The problem with this one is uh, they are not grouped up in the inventory. Now that's the problem. So, you know, if a person wants to buy like 100, you won't gonna just put them 100 of those on the floor to obtain. So, yeah, not good. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, back to materials. So overall, materials is a good place to uh, discover some things that you have plenty of and you can sell them for a high price. I re definitely recommend. Taylor Ticket, look at this 100. I have a few of those. And Stone, you can sell this for almost nothing when you at Nuke Cranny, but here you can get like on average like 5K. Good price. All right, moving on. Let's see fruits, but the fruits price. So much higher than you get at the store. Uh, wow, coconut. I have plenty of coconut trees. Woo -woo. I can just farm them on my alley and sell them for almost 6k. For 6k, even more. Great price. All right, something to know, you know. But, you know, the thing is, I won't bother with this because I need a lot of them. I mean, it's a good price, but there are more good options there to earn a lot of money faster than just selling fruits. Just saying.
By the way, I bought quite a few of those. I have plenty of those in the inventory. I'm not going to. I'm not using them actually. But now seeing the prices, like can you sell like ten of them and get to them? Maybe, maybe. Whether it's a really good, I don't know. Maybe there are better options out there. But you know, something to think about if you already have those and you're going to plan to use them. But there are better options out there for any manufacturer. Songs. So, whoo, whoo, wow, the prices. Let's see. So anyway. 100 on average and I'm, I'm sure p people are going to sell even for more uh, If you just want to finish the collection you can sell those um, Usually what I do is just give them to friends <laughs> uh, Maybe they don't have a single one But I'm going to spend time on this mm, probably not I don't think so All right the ones yeah people are willing to play for the ones bunny day 100 Yeah, people like the ones so we can get a good price for it I'm gonna spend time on it, but uh, a good price. The golden items, you can also sell them for a good price. But again, I'm gonna just use the um, uh, the golden watering can because I need it for the flowers, the golden, uh, for the roses. But other than this, I wouldn't pay for uh, any one of those. I just want to show off, maybe. I don't need to, so. So overall, I'm not gonna spend time here. It's not worth it. So again, the thing is that we need some kind of uh, sorting or something uh, you know that allows us to easily understand uh, what items uh, you can sell, the, you know, uh, for the most for the higher price. Uh, but it's not here. But you can go to the main page, and if you go down here, you can see latest listing. And now, what it put here, you can see today's odd items. Now you can see here what people are actually looking for. Let's just try this one and you can see what people are looking for and you can actually sell this one uh, by, by using rating. All right, it, it, it's not worth it. So let's go back, uh, latest listing, go up again, see the top and these are the, you know, the most popular items as for today. Now what this means is the popular items, you're going to see many of those, but probably at some point uh, again, it depends on the demand on in the production. Uh, people will find them missing in the inventory, and this means you can sell them for a high price. So what I actually do, I do two things. I list them uh, both in auction and sell price, and I put usually a high sell price, way above uh, what I expect to get. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not missing actually sell because I'm going to have also the auction. The auction gives me an understanding how much people are actually willing to pay for it. So I'm kind of trying to balance it and try to maximize my revenue. This is Raymond. I just made a movie, uh, a movie, <laughs> a video about it. Uh, he's the most popular villager right now. He sells for. This is probably one of the most expensive items. Uh, one of the most expensive items right now on Yukazon. Here we can actually see the sofa. You can see that the one, the green one, which I have, uh, is very popular. You know, you can see the colors. This is a good time to see which which place to see which colors are actually kind of trending, which is really good. Really good place to see trending. I have this one, by the way, also. Bookshelf. This one is seasonal, but well, it's, it's expensive as well. This one I sold yesterday, white one. I have this one also. So again, this is a good place to see which one you have. Grand piano, by the way, I have. Let's check out the price. That's it, 360. It's not that good, to be honest. It's a really beautiful one, I prefer. Let's check out the color. I have the walnut, yeah, I have this one. Let's see how many of those we have here. Make an offer, make an offer. 350 people offering it. Overall, I don't think it's worth it, but I can sell it, I think, for uh, even three times as much, uh, two times as much, easily, from what you see here. So, like, more than 700 I can get for it. So, let's check out the light. Let's check out the price for the bulk sofa. It's very popular. People like this color. As you can see, as I told you in the previous video, 
there are many colors but some of them will stand out from the rest uh, uh, because people just like the color or maybe just better fit a certain uh, maybe other items that people have that kind of fit the color uh, you know just in general this color people like it better so uh, if I were going to be like a 50, 50s uh, dinner I'm probably going to use this one as well and as you can see you can buy it <laughs> look at the price yeah but it doesn't matter what you buy it for of course it's all about uh, you know uh, uh, how many of those are actually offered for sale and the demand for it average price is 100,000 but you can sell for much more I can say tell you right now easily uh, sell for much more uh, to my stickers it's very easy to make it you know but the thing is the people were willing to pay money because they have probably tens of millions so for them it's very easy to just go and buy with uh, belts let's see offering people know that they can expect to get a lot more for it so they're not actually putting an actual price they just want to know what people are willing to offer and they're probably going to get a high price compared to if they put it uh, on a fixed price so they prefer this what people prefer in auction they can see it's trending and uh, just want to put a low price they know people are willing to pay a lot for it again you can just go and press the color and you can see how many of those are actually listed this also gives you an indication here in this case there are plenty of uh, here are plenty of those but you can see people adjust uh, they want either to trade for a different color I can understand this and there are lots more so again there's a demand but also uh, for this demand there are many people are willing to sell those I'm sure they're gonna sell this for a very high price nobody actually listing uh, you know for bells you can see nobody actually want uh, bells for it you know oh phew, five thousand we find one oh good rating here you go if you want this for very cheap five thousand for you so this is it just a quick overlook of some of the items that you might think about uh you know uh, selling uh, again what you want back it depends on what you need yeah i'm not going to tell you what to trade for uh, of course, I have like many of bells. I, it's, for me, there's no reason like to sell for bells anymore because I have nothing to do with them anyway. Uh, unless I want to continue building my island and I want to buy things with bells here. But as far as I can see, people prefer getting different items that they want than actually getting selling in for bells because at some point people who have so much money uh, using this platform, I mean bells, yeah. Uh, so they prefer just uh, getting certain items. So bells as a currency i think uh, its value is going to be reduced over time uh, so you know something could be to keep to keep in mind uh when you're actually selling things maybe it's better to sell things for other type of items where you discover they're actually worth a lot so you can find some items that people have that uh, maybe they think they don't worth a lot but you know they worth a lot so you can exchange so you can just ask them so you can list them you know as part of the of your wish list all right and then see if people are actually willing to offer those and you can actually uh, just have them and earn much more if you are designing your island uh, of course just focus on the thing that you would like uh, to use uh, in your design whether it's for your home design island design whatever you want to make and whatever items you need so again i'm going to do this uh, uh from time to time so you get uh have an idea which things you can look for which things are worth selling uh, what there is a demand and of course this can change daily monthly seasonally so we need to keep an eye on this but just a quick look I hope you find this interesting uh, and you get better understanding of how Nukazone actually work what items out there which one worth more which we should pay attention more and that's it I hope you make a lot of uh, money using this uh, platform uh, and I really enjoy using this I don't actually use the money I just enjoy using it because I just enjoy using it and of course I enjoy seeing other people trading with me coming to my island that kind of stuff so that's it. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye. Cheers.